In this recovery video, we're going to show you how to recover a vehicle that's been wedged up on a rock or a Jersey barricade or a K-Rail using your SP9000 side puller. As we were making all of these recovery videos to try to show you all the techniques you can use with the side puller, it's a little bit hard to get everything in an actual real world setting, but we've tried to do our best. As you can see, we got the car wedged up on the rock. What we're going to do in this video that's kind of unique is we're going to show you how to turn your side puller into a twin line recovery unit. And we do that by running the wire rope here from the winch through a snatch block and then up to the side puller and then out from the side using one of our anchor points as you can see here in the video. And what we're going to do is the first thing we're going to do is pull using the side puller center recovery boom. And we're going to go ahead and pull on it and tip the car up onto its side as you can see here in the video. Then once we get the car up on its side, we're going to go ahead and pull the wire in using the car carrier winch as our low line. And what that's going to do is it's going to slide the car a little bit towards you. Now it's off the rock and we could lower the car, but we're going to go ahead and drag it a little bit further so that you really get a full understanding of what the side puller is capable of. The big thing I really want to point out too is how little the side puller moves or the truck moves during this. What a fantastic recovery technique to perfect and go out there and practice and learn this information. It's just fantastic. And once again, we're pulling directly off the center recovery boom head. You know what? You're going to hear me repeating myself over and over that that's really the go-to point on a side puller. If you've enjoyed this video, I want to invite you to go to intheditch.com and check out our other recovery videos. Thanks again for your time and see you in the ditch.